Hi guys. Sorry I've been MIA for so long. I just came for a quick update. Um, a specific update. I'll do a general update another time. But for now, as you can see from the title, I wanted to talk about the fact that I just got diagnosed with PCOS. And I'm pretty sure several of you aren't, you know, surprised. Excuse my terrible video quality, my <laughs> video etiquette, whatever you want to say. Um, especially the quality. I just had to downgrade phones. So the camera quality isn't going to be so good until I upgrade. Hope you all will bear with me. Anyway, um, yeah, I just got diagnosed with PCOS before even getting a pelvic ultrasound. I get a pelvic ultrasound Monday. Today's Friday. I get a pelvic ultrasound Monday to see if I have any cysts on my ovaries, which PCOS means polycystic ovarian syndrome, but you don't actually have to have multiple cysts in order to have polycystic ovarian syndrome. So, um, the symptoms of it that I've been having, the biggest one is in my blood work, I had insulin resistance. Now that sounds a whole lot like diabetes, which a lot of people call it pre-diabetes. But in my case, she assured me that it's not related to diabetes, it's related to PCOS. Um, and, you know, because of the insulin resistance, that is why that I have such a hard time losing weight. Um, I don't know if I've ever talked about this, but I played basketball for 11 years. And I, you know, from, I'm only 21 now. And from a very young age, my parents had me running, you know, miles on miles you know, because they were, they were athletes. So, and I was an athlete and, um, by like fifth or sixth grade, my mom had me running like three miles a night, um, five nights a, a, a week. And, uh, I never lost any weight, nothing substantial, maybe two pounds here, four pounds there, but I never, and, but I constantly gained weight and, um, yeah, I just, my brain is not working anyway <laughs> uh, but my blood sugar has never been high I've had it you know I've, I get my yearly or whatever blood work done at my with my doctor and my blood sugar has never been high never been low it's always perfect so it's not diabetes but I do have a whole lot of extra insulin in my system which is what's making me hold on to weight and both of those symptoms are signs of PCOS. She also said that the darkening of the skin on my neck is a fact is a factor in the I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna bring you painfully close to my face so you can see all of this on my face. It's it's a common thing for me. And I do have eczema but usually not on my face. And she said that is also a part of it. Um, and I have, I have several, several, um, of those typical symptoms that come with PCOS. So she put me on metformin, which is, uh, the, the medicine that most people with PCOS take. And until I show signs of having trouble with fertility, then that's going to be all that I take. Um, and hopefully I won't show any signs of having issue with fertility. Um, excuse all my ums. <laughs> and like I said, I have an ultrasound Monday and they put me on a new diet. Uh, me and my husband eat fairly well, fairly, fairly well, I should say, um, especially for Americans. I don't mean to offend anybody, but you know, we eat terribly in this country, especially in the South. And, um, so, okay. The diet, sorry. Uh, the biggest thing on that diet for, for me is going to be eating every three hours. Um, that's going to be, that's going to be a tough one, uh, to, to keep up. I'm probably going to have to actually put a, 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 a reminder on my phone for every three hours to eat something. And, uh, so it's the whole idea of eating six small meals a day instead of three big ones. Excuse me. And I get unlimited vegetables. 
but one part and and you can say i'm wrong for this all you want but one thing i will not do is count my calories it's supposed to be a 1200 calorie a day diet but i'm not going to count calories and the reason why is because i do not want to make a fuss over it i don't want to make it so hard and so inconvenient and so time consuming that I don't want to do it anymore. And that's the way, because I know if I start to make a fuss over something, it's over. I'm just, it's, I'm going to obsess and it's going to become more of a burden than anything. So I'm, I refuse to count calories. And, you know, if I'm overeating, I'm overeating on good food. So it's okay. I will be okay. And I will start to lose weight with this insulin, with the, you know, the metformin doing its work on the insulin in my body. Um, I guess that's it about this. I guess I'll talk more about it when I have more to say about it. I'll give you guys an update about my uh, pelvic ultrasound on Monday. And I think I'm going to do a general update here in a minute. So I'll have the same shirt on. So... Actually, I think I'll change this shirt. I look kind of, I don't know. Anyway, excuse everything. Just excuse it all. Just skip this video. Don't even watch this video. Except we're at the end. So you already watched the video. So I don't know if it even know why I said that. Anyway, excuse everything. Y'all have a wonderful weekend. If you're not watching this video on a Friday, I don't know. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful life. Live life to the fullest. Praise God with all of your heart. Love your family and your friends with all of your heart. Even love strangers with all of your heart. And I'll leave this terrible video at that. <laughs>